CBS News has fired the executive producer of 60 Minutes after he sent a very pointed warning to a CBS News correspondent covering misconduct allegations against him. CBS News says that Jeff Fager violated company policy but would not specify how. In a statement, Fager blamed a text message he sent to one of our own CBS reporters demanding that she be fair in covering the story. Now he has admitted that it contained harsh language. Jerika Duncan is that reporter, and she joins us at the table this morning. Jerika, very good to have you here. Thank you so much, and thank you for you all's support this morning. Um, our team has been investigating published accounts of Jeff Fager acting inappropriately and tolerating misconduct. So Sunday evening, I reached out to him for comment on the most recent allegations. He denied them and then sent me a warning. In a text message, Jeff Fager wrote, if you repeat these false accusations without any of your own reporting to back them up, you will be held responsible for harming me. He went on to say, be careful. There are people who lost their jobs trying to harm me, and if you pass on these damaging claims without your own reporting to back them up, that will become a serious problem. This is the board of stories. That Fager, who led now. 60 Minutes since 2004, indicated that message is why he was fired. In a statement, he wrote, My language was harsh, and despite the fact that journalists receive harsh demands for fairness all the time, CBS did not like it. One such note should not result in termination after 36 years. Before that language was made public, CBS News President David Rhodes addressed the staff at 60 Minutes and what one employee calls an intense meeting. Rhodes faced questions from journalists who were said to be incredibly angry. Correspondent Steve Croft later characterized Fager's text message to me as threatening and inappropriate. He added, the situation saddens me. I can't talk to you about it. As he left the meeting, Rhodes wouldn't comment on whether the text message was the reason he fired Fager. However, in an email to the news division, he wrote the dismissal is not directly related to the allegations that surfaced in press reports. The New Yorker has reported on claims that Fager would touch employees in ways that made them uncomfortable and allowed harassment in the division. Fager has denied that. As previous chairman of CBS News, Fager brought Charlie Rose back to the network in the late 1990s. Jeff Fager, my friend, my colleague, my boss. CBS fired Rose last year over sexual harassment allegations. 60 Minutes marked its 50th year last season. Our job is to seek out the truth, and not everybody wants the truth out. Fager was only the second executive producer in the show's history. The fundamentals haven't changed over all these years, and I, and, and I really think that's a big part of the success. And the fundamentals of reporting, including asking questions of those we cover, and that's exactly what we were doing. Fager, Rose, and former CEO Leslie Moonves have now all been forced out of CBS after allegations of misconduct. Two outside law firms are conducting an ongoing investigation into those reports and into the overall culture here at CBS. Never expected this. No, of course. I mean, so. it, this is a very difficult story for us to cover and certainly for you. Big trees are falling at CBS. But I really do believe that the company wants to and will get this right. I can only imagine what this what this has done to you, how this has affected you. And I certainly applaud you, Drika, for speaking up. Thank what was you. it like when you received that text on Sunday? I was shocked. And like the many people that I've covered, you, you finally understand that conflicting feeling about why and what and why would you even put me in this position now? Mm -hmm. Um, I spoke to someone here that I've did been working. Did you view it as a threat? I did. Yes. Um, and it's even hard to say that today no. because, yes, we do receive harsh language all the time. But this is someone who held an enormous amount of power here, mm -hmm. um, who I respected. And I was shocked. I think once, peop once people saw that text, they might have felt differently about it. It certainly sounded like a threat. It was a threat. Yeah. But I thank everyone here for their support. So many comments. I can't say that enough about the people within this organization who sent me text messages, emails, viewers, people on Twitter. So I'm extremely grateful for that. And we at CBS this morning support you 100%. Thank as you. well as the news division. Thank you, Jerika. Thank you.